Hop là, petit tour sur Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Oh yeah, trop bien. Hop là, on va... Alors j'ai discuté avec des gens qui l'avaient fait, ils m'ont dit que j'avais zappé euh, quelques éléments sur la plage. Donc... Euh... Donc voilà, donc il euh, faudra sûrement que je... Que je retourne un peu là-bas. Il y a des gens là. How is it happy enough, uh, prosperous enough, before these lean times around Sicil began? Still, that doesn't waive a man's need to eat, you know. Tomato? I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve... So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? Allez. Everyone needs a hand now and then. Take the fish, and none but us will be the wiser. Tomatoes. True enough. Without a bit of charity now and then, the world would be a far crueler place. That's the spirit, or should I say, the soul? <laughs> Sir, did you just steal that fish? No, 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 I paid for it. The, uh, uh, the, the merchant just left, but I paid. I, I paid before. Yo, you were a witness to this event now. Tell me what happened. This man is telling the truth. Allez. He paid for that fish fair and square. Quite so. I saw him pay the merchant. I can't thank you enough for your uh, <clears throat> discretion. I'll be going now. Well, sorry to have bothered you then, sir. Carry on. Ok, ha ha ha, je les ai bien eu. Et elle, c'est qui du coup? That thief is free for now. But I wonder how long it'll be until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. I can understand your sympathy for that man, but feeding him for one day will hardly remedy his circumstances. You would have done better to help him more substantially than by covering up a single petty theft. Okay, but très bien. You there! A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero, the whole of Sicil is a buzz about. The talk of the town, the juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you. A delight. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity in Okay. Mendius at your service. What is my profession? 
Well, I'll tell you what it used to be. And that is a man of medicine. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I saved lives, to be sure. But today, I change them. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Ouais, les voyageuses. How could someone in my profession not? Some could not because they are professionals, not adventuring daydreamers. Clearly, two strong personalities stand before me. Two who voice their opinions with vigor when they differ. What else could I expect from mighty source hunters? Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Riches no. do not interest me much, actually. Et lui, non. Wealth is but vanity. Oh, but I know you're just being bashful. I bet that in your heart of hearts, your eyes water with joy when you discover yet another treasure during your travels. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. Am I right? All those orders. Investigate this, retrieve that. And at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? It's better to lead than to follow. That much is true. I disagree. I, for one, am content with my station. You disagree with one another. But that proves you are firm-willed. That you have the minds of independence, not dependence. Admit, life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. Enact the change you deserve. And that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the King Crab. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Oh. Fabulous five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers guild in Rivalon. Our mission, to better the world. Our mantra, to better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. Why? You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? What a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow. Sharp as a switchblade. Most meritorious, obvious. Il est un peu trop flagorneur pour que ça... To join the fabulous five is to join a fellowship. To join a fraternity. Sorority, a community. The title of knight is bestowed upon you the moment you sign our waiver, and so it all begins. I shall be the one to give you your first contract, and once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. Of course, 
Should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the fabulous five and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship, you will get a share of the reward from their contracts too. Isn't that wonderful? By now, the genial glow of the Fellowship must have warmed your heart. It has, hasn't it? Uh, but did I say Fellowship? I mean family. For like a family, we support one another, cheer one another, see each other through thick and thin, partake in glory and defeat. Mm -hmm. Work hard, fulfill contracts, enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself. You will better Rivalon. You will make the star shine all the brighter. And you'll get fabulously wealthy in the process. What's not to like? Of mm -hmm. course, of course, of course. All you need to do is sign this waiver, and just like that, snap, you're part of the family. All I need is your lovely little autograph. What do you say? So you're just hanging around the inn, are you? Waiting for one. Mm. Join a guild. Better the world. Earn a lot of gold. Yes, count me in. You'd fall for this foolish scheme. God's your gullible. Oh. We must think of our own futures. The order of source hunters will not provide for us forever. Are you telling me this is not the most double-faced guy you ever met? Ah. Ah, so. Okay. Ai, 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 ai. Ok. Là, il va falloir que ça touche, les gars. Allez. Yes, I am clutch. No, no. We'll do as I say, and there's an end to it. Marvelous. Magnificent. Oh, but what am I saying? Fabulous is the word. You may not realize it yet, but your fortunes, your very life is about to change for the better. So let us not dilly-dally. To business. Your first assignment is ready and waiting, if you're ready and willing. Mm -hmm. What more is there to say, my friend? You are one of us now. A proud member of the even prouder Fabulous Five. Glory be, for glory has found you. Oh, it's a pretty straightforward task, this one. Now, in this town dwells a wizard. Ahu is his name, and he's a frightful eccentric. Scientific type, you know the kind. Favors reason over faith and all that. Not Fabulous Five material, him. His experimental weapons may keep a couple of skeletons away from the city, but many of his other researches fail, malfunction with tragic consequences. Mm -hmm. One of them was a big lumbering apparatus, a frightful automaton shaped like a giant made of steel. It was supposed to crush the undead by the dozens, piloted as it was by a trained legionnaire. But you can guess what happened. Did it become sentient? Was it cursed? Whatever the cause, the thing relieved itself of its pilot and headed north towards a network of caves. Now ask yourself, what if it comes back? It could smash the city walls and claim a hundred lives before being subdued. Luckily, there are those in this world who belong to the fabulous five. The braves who eat such monstrosities for breakfast. Go, my friend. Find this wizard's abomination, 
and claim your just reward from Mayor Cecil in the name of our hallowed guild. Easy money. Alors, soyons clairs, je vais pas leur envoyer les marins là, parce que ça me paraît un... bizarre. Donc là, hop là, on se va séparer parce que j'ai pas confiance. Auberge, ok. Ah oh, tiens, on a des trucs à... Non. Oh, c'est une hache. C'est bien ça. Ok. Euh... Ok. Mais c'est qui, Captain Jack Ok. Some poor chaps lost their ship and want some work. Just send them to me and tell them there's a bit of coin and a lot of rum coming their way if they don't mind a bit of honest labor. Cool. Captain Jack's the name, though the title may be a little generous at the moment. <laughs> My crew ran off. Got the. Find enough hardy souls to help me reload the ship and sail off. Ah oui, ok. Ok, bon bah on va... On va les envoyer... Euh... Voir... Euh... Non, c'était où Hop là Vous êtes où les trois marins là T'es par là. Tac. Je crois qu'ils étaient là. Ils sont un peu plus haut. Je ne sais plus. Bon, ils ont l'air de se déplacer. Donc tout va bien. Ok. Ouais, ça je crois que j'ai déjà... Je crois qu'ils m'en ont déjà parlé de tout ça. Cool. J'ai gagné des points d'XP. Inventaire. Non, moi je vais voir la fiche de perso. Voilà. 1700 points. Bon, on va essayer d'aller sur la plage. Vamos à la playa. Où 
menacé d'aller là. Et tout ça là, on l'a pas exploré là, tout ça là. Et c'est important de tout explorer. On va sauvegarder aussi. Allez les petits gars, on arrive. Ah. Ils <rire> Hop là. Ah. Ok. Ah, par contre, j'ai juste. Euh... Vous voyez, Ursuline. Ok. Donc là, les gars, là, ici, il n'y a rien. Ah, ok. Oh. Cool. Trouve un portail. Génération. Ok. Une poire, très bien. Ah. Trop bien. D'accord. Ah non, coquillage, on s'en fout. Ok. Ça va être bizarrement gros en fait. Non. Ok, bon, bon on, va, on va remonter un peu. T'es ok ici Ouais ok. Tout est ok. Hmm. Oh lui il est vide. Ok. On était ok. Donc là on avait... Là c'était ok. Ok, bon bah. Juste regarder si. Fait inconnu. Ah. Bon. Si. C'était l'objet.
Ah, c'est quoi ça Ah, c'est des branches. Ah, je peux peut-être en faire des choses, ça. Tiens, je les vendrai. Ça ne fait rien, je les vendrai. Oh, tiens. Ah, trop bien. Ok. Yes, aïe, trop bien. Ok, je fais des cures. Bon, ok, je les vendrai. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. Bon là, il a rien. The Soul Hunter. Nice to see these winds are blowing more than bloody orcs our way. Welcome to Psy Seal, comrade, and good luck. I'm a proud legionnaire and always will be, but I thought we'd be doing more slashing and less dying. Bloody orcs are at it again. That rat faced shame okay. may need help. I would go myself, but we legionnaires are under siege. Me, what traitorous madness. Whatever the curse. Okay, bon, y a rien de, rien de plus. On va essayer de prendre ce petit coffre. Ah, il est vide. Oh, ben, je l'ai déjà pris alors. Très bien. C'est déjà là. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. It makes him a bit edgy. <laughs> Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. 
My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls, when who did I see creeping along the shore but this lovely orcish lady. For a brief second, as, well, as long as it took, <laughs> we locked eyes. Okay. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamored. <laughs> I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army of some kind of duress. A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast, or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away to the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as... It's <laughs> Amazon, or what? You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting, as printed. You see, he'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. To live. If that potion were truly worthless, it wouldn't have been able to charm her in the first place. In this docile state, she may prove to be a source of valuable information. You're right. The information she provides could well turn the tides here in Sicil. Bravo! I trust not only the potion, but my scaly sweetheart in and of herself. You're going to regret this. We're all going to regret this. Okay. No. Okay. No, what the? Let's see. Wow, a source hunter. About time the council took us seriously. Maybe you can start with the two idiots hiding their pet orc here. Okay. Liberate the flesh from our faces. Okay, je préfère partir. Enough. Bon, on va reprendre un peu l'explo. Pas aller là pour le moment. Ok, ah. c'est cool. Ça c'est quoi ça Ça là on peut pas, non verrouiller. Ok, très bien. Très bien, très bien. Il y avait d'autres... 
Ja, det gjorde den där. Fjärt. Skilla. Jag är Esmeralda, scène du crime. Tra. Hein? Ok. Ah, bon, on va aller là, hein, pardon. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain more truce my regards next time you see him. Heaven's Hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. But ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases, and a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce honor again. I came okay. south seeking the Legion's help, only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward, And even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. You wouldn't. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Medora's the name. Retired. Or so the Order keeps trying to tell me, but never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. By the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villagers when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. Okay. I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the Counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our master Thaleron for another. And on okay. top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Now don't get me wrong, I think the mayor's a decent sort. Even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his own nose. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I suspect an illegal source okay. artifact or substance is at the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since that fella seems oh, like a humble doctor, but I bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. A loose-lipped fishmonger let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions, well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. You mean you don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. <laughs> Well, you know the old expression, two's a tea party, three's an invasion. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. 
and the orcs up north will be short work for a trained up trio of sauce hunters. Que ça ne sait pas cette expression. A fantastic plan. With three sauce hunters working in tandem, we'll put an end to all the evils bent against this fair land. Another source hunter on the team will make us all the more formidable against this wicked magic. Pour sûr. Oh, that's the spirit. Listen closely now. Do you hear it? That's the sound of every orc and sorcerer in a hundred mile radius shaken in his weed boots. Est-ce qu'elle a... Non. Ok. Non, elle, elle a quoi, elle a... Une armure, le brassard, une épée à deux mains. Peut-être c'est pareil que lui, en fait. Ok. Donc là, j'ai deux... Deux tanks. Ok. Elle oh. peut identifier elle Non, elle peut pas identifier. Ok. J'aimerais bien que ça s'enlève. Ok. Attends, elle, elle a des brassards ou pas Brassard de Madora. Ok. Ah, attends, lui, c'est qui là Truc de ferrole. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. Mm -hmm. I am the Duke of Ferrol, though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by now. It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Okay. <laughs> never saw you in the King Crab before. You can welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I once I am unsinkable Sam. <laughs> At least that's what they call me around here. Used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank, and I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. But the people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. So I was. What friends I had, they drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I milk and fish a plenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Maxine. Maxine. The mayor's darling mm -hmm. pet. So gentle. So... Fair a feline, the grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. 
She likes me. I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I, I've serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. <laughs> but for some reason, she is not to be swayed. By all means. People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do test them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. C'est pas, uh, c'est pas faux. Non, mansion orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank walrus Willie's boat right from under it. Best anchovy fisher in the world he was. Ok, très bien. Anna. Alistair. Il y a trop de monde là. Qu'est-ce qu'on a ici Un source hunter, est-ce well, my day just became rather more stimulating. Oh, stand still then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good long look at the so-called savior of Sicil. Tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face, quite classical, isn't it? Statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy as marble, yet fine as a chisel's edge. And my word, what passion burns from your eyes. Please forgive my being forward, but I... I dare say, can it be? You... I am Anna. Jewel in the crown that is the fabulous five. I've cut a thousand throats. And baked a thousand bread rolls. Stolen the crown jewels of the Queen of Arata, and, with my pockets full, helped her reach enlightenment. When the day comes that I die, the gods will evacuate the heavens to make space for my formidable collection of designer slippers. I contain multitudes, you see, and I am utterly replete. Except that, much to my dismay, I had as yet to find the companion to whom my heart so clearly calls. But then, Source Hunter, you wandered into this tavern, and I... Oh... I am most certain that that companion is you. That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like if you could only fill a certain void, could connect with the right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling vistas. I believe I have found that component. That body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, if ever we are to be united, we must truly entwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. Yes, you must join the Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. Together, as a team, we'll explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate, inch by inch. So you've joined up. You've sworn to share in our adversity and our bounty alike. Oh, you've made my heart sore. I can finally offer you our finest adventuring equipment at fantastic in-house rates. Come now, let's trade. Well, you must be thrilled to find yourself a member of a team so widely renowned for its valor and skill. And you must be even more curious about how you yourself can suit up to face such enemies as a member of the Fabulous Five must face. Well, never fear. I have everything you need. Ouais, ça c'est cool ça. Ok. 
Voilà. Ça d'initiative, ouais, donc là, ouais, donc là, il n'y aurait pas des masses de. Ouais, que ça, là. Bon, pour le moment, on va, on va juste faire ça. Euh, pardon. Alors, euh... Ah ben voilà, 276, ouais. Ah merde. Passé. I hear you've been tasked with taking out that crazed robot in the northern cave. I'm sure you'd like to equip yourself with the finest possible accoutrement, wouldn't you? Come, come. Oh, darling, that was so long ago now. Who can remember who said what after all this time? Well, you are a member of the M. Okay. Oui. Alors, toi, t'as pas de l'argent Ah ben voilà, t'as de l'argent. Voilà. Ah putain. Non. Ah. Nine, tiens, voilà. Ah merde. Faire partir. Voilà, tag, voilà. Allez. Voilà. Ah tiens, j'avais pas vu ça. Non mais ça non, j'en veux pas. Oh ça va faire trop cher. Euh, clairement pas. Euh, 400, euh, 373 moins 8, ça fait 365. Voilà, pouf. Voilà. Tac. Ok. Sept. Toi, t'es à onze. Et toi, t'es à neuf. Alors. Donc ça, on va l'envoyer à Germain. Et toi, qui es télékinésie, hop. Équipé. Et ben voilà, et toi là. Merde. Germain. Ah, si, ben voilà. Équipé. S'envoyer à Ursuline, s'envoyer à Ursuline. Ah, 
They say he's privy to ancient and arcane secrets, the likes of which I doubt you could even tell. Oui, Ursuline, voilà. Et voilà. Tac. Hop là. Tac. Non mais je suis trop con. Je préfère partir. Voilà. Tac. Non mais ça je suis équipé déjà. Voilà. Voilà. Vas-y, refile-moi 50 là. Ah putain, on peut pas. Ok. Paf. Voilà, très bien. Là, on peut aller parler à Alistair. Ah, mais c'est le même. Euh... <rire> ok, très bien. Novak. Ah, pointless chatter with strangers does so. <rire> How did you know? Please continue interrupting my drink if you'd be so kind. How curious of you to show interest in a lonesome stranger at the bar. Let me answer by saying that who I am is hardly any of your business. And anyone with an ounce of tact would have known that already. So you've wrangled a position in the fabulous five, have you? I'm fairly brimming with enthusiasm at the prospect of calling you a partner. You'd better leave me undisturbed, or my emotions might just bubble over. You've been sent after Arhu's insane robot, I understand. Do you imagine that while you're busy being crushed by that abomination, I'll manage to get through a whole drink distraction free? Ok. Ça c'est qui est ici là? Francis. Greetings, traveler. May the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard the revelation? What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the Conduit's eyes. 
and only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess where all living souls are naturally inclined. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. Ah, for this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silver Glen, where mm -hmm. all may be revealed. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Super. On va sauvegarder un peu. Légionnaire. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a là-dessous Pas grand chose de particulier, hein. Ok, bon. Il y aura peut-être à. Ah, King Cabin, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. The name's Ivad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travelers of Sicile drink and rest for nearly two decades now, but the king crab's older than that by a long shot. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great grandpappy Horatius Dunganess's noble vision. Beer and naps for everyone. No questions asked. Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the, uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that pinch. Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. That room where it happened, it was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window, but I saw nary a saw when I looked out. You can bet I hightailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Councillor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. 
Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know? He's called the Duke of Ferrell. A high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Ok. Hop là, on se regarde un peu. Citoyen. Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. That I am. Mm. I've spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home. For a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh, yes. A city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Oh, but let us not discuss. Let us browse. Okay, and let's go. No, I don't know. Ouais, on a des trucs bien, hein, mais euh, par contre, j'ai pas le sou, donc euh... laisse béton. Mais je reviendrai. Et lui, c'est qui Garde du corps, hein, on s'en fout. Citoyen, citoyen. Là, j'ai pas le droit. Là, j'ai pas le droit. Y a personne et là c'est verrouillé ok bon 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 on va retourner là hein. on va retourner là et puis après on va est ce que on va pas euh... et où est Esmeralda On y est. Ah si c'est ça, elle est là. Ouais, Claudio, c'est... Ah non. Ok, donc là il y a l'hôtel de ville. Ok, eh ben, ce qu'on va dire c'est qu'on va. On va s'arrêter là, puis on reprendra euh, la prochaine fois euh, à l'hôtel de ville. Allez, ciao